now Quid versus Vivi. Quid has been on the up and up, being an incredible Pokemon trainer player. Uh, many out there saying best in NA, and I can't say I disagree. Mm -hmm. And we have Vivi, who is someone who we actually are very familiar with in these top eights. Uh, Hero Lucario going to opt for the hero in this matchup here, and we're going to get right into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen Vivi really turn it up recently with the local results, as well as actually seen some Sephiroth play and uh, the Lucario. We've seen a lot of hero recently, but it seemed like Lucario was a little on the back foot for a bit there. Yeah, definitely uh, a character that Vivi still has in the arsenal. How we're getting into this game number one. So so far, we've seen the advantage they've been incredibly good uh, for Quid. Quid in the corner right now, having Vivi, maintaining stage control, and Quid is really good about doing that. Once again, back air, trying to track Vivi down, keeping Vivi in that corner. Again, doing such an excellent job of that. Yep, and we're seeing a lot of like classic Squirtle gameplay here, really centered on the ground, looking for these uh, good conversion Squirtle, very quick, very good at the wolf punch. Yeah. Ooh, looking for tech chase now. I love the usage of Smash uh, Razor Leaf there, getting at max distance, covering all that tech chase. Going to probably do it again here. Vivi ended up getting his shield out that time around. Ooh, and that is such a huge side for Vivi, keeping uh, Quid into the corner. Now, once again, Hero's Lost Trapping so, so strong, especially with a character that doesn't have exactly the strongest disadvantage state like Ivysaur. And we've got a really interesting thing here, not only with Bounce to deal with Razor Leaf, but also the side B sends Ooh. the lightning down. And the spacing there, so, so good uh, by Quid. That F just perfectly in place to get uh, that stock. And we see Quid with the lead here. And Charizard, I think, is a really interesting choice uh, to stay here. You're already at that 141%. You already have there, are in a position where you have Vivi in the corner. The ledge trap now begins. Flamethrower out, not going to be able to hit Vivi. That usage of um, accelerality back to ledge was excellent. Ooh, but the ledge trapping still, and the stage presence from um, Quid has been so good. Yep, but very good usage of the patience there, trying to take advantage of this rage with some heavy hits from Charizard. Yeah, and right now, uh, we're seeing the difficulty of uh, Vivi to get off this stock. Has not really been able to maintain an advantage state for very long. Um, that's one thing about Quid that is incredibly strong. Excellent luck right there, mm -hmm. more than anything. Yep, the uh, return catching point that on zoom. That is random. Ooh. Oh, and gets the dunk too. This is really looking good for Quid. Yeah, a, a huge two-stock lead to start this game, number one. Um, once again, Quinn has just done an excellent job of keep maintaining stage control. That's huge so far. Can we get right again? No, okay. Just going to maintain center stage as Quinn has been doing so far. Jab to jab. And Hero is another character that, similarly to uh, Trainer, does at times have trouble getting down to the floor. However, Vivi, with that fair on the corner, going to be able to take that stock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, this is really in Quid's favor on this one. Got a favorable percent for Squirtle to get some work done as well. And it's stock up. This is very difficult for Vivi to make the comeback in here, but not impossible. All right, a quick up throw combo. Keeping um, Vivi in the air. The juggling has been excellent so far um, for Quid. Vivi finally gets back down. And that bounce might be huge here. Um, maintaining the difficulty of using Razor Leaf, however, Quid not um, worried about it one bit. That F smash spaced perfectly, and I think not only that timed perfectly, so that um, Vivi would do an option um, before he could react to the startup of that F smash. Mm -hmm. So that's a very difficult place to be because when that F smash is spaced right, it essentially covers everything, and the only thing I that you can't release on for uh, reaction is the jump. So yeah. that's where the timing And the spark applies. is kind of when you can start reacting to that move. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you saw, we saw that, Vivi was already... Ooh, actually, Vivi just gets back anyway. Kind of mm -hmm. a misplay right there by Vivi, I would say. I think you could, could have still possibly even have reacted to that um, F smash. Um, probably just a uh, miscalculation on Vivi's part there. Um, however, going to this game number two, um, I imagine we're going to be going to maybe a smaller stage, being at the big stage of Stadium. Ended up not working out too well for Vivi. Um, and Squirtle can kind of keep uh, himself in the face of a character like Hero. And I like the Lucario switch. Yeah, I'm interested in Lucario counterpick. I think Squirtle takes a big advantage of Hero's slow frame data in the early percent. So we'll see if Vivi can turn it around with some combos of his own. Yeah, and certainly the um, speed on Lucario is kind of a big factor here. While Lucario uh, certainly is not going to be hitting super hard early on, uh, Lucario is significantly significantly faster uh, than Hero. That ground movement is so, so good. All right, quick start here for uh, Quid, but uh, Vivi gonna be able to respond with a quick up throw combo. Looking to get back down to the ground now is Vivi. And now, once again, corner stage pressure for um, Quid. That um, Hydro Pump, so good. For oh my oh, god! Going so deep, and back to stage still mm -hmm, is Quid. 
Excellent. We've seen some good usage of that today. Very strong edge guarding option. A very large hitbox, too, deceptively so. Um, closing out the first stock, an yeah. excellent choice. And on a character that does have a lot of startup on their recovery, like Lucario, that is so huge to throw out a long, lingering hitbox um, that is difficult to deal with. Uh, right now, though, we're seeing I think Vivi struggle a little bit in keeping um, Quid in disadvantage. I've liked so far some of the ground game that Vivi has put out there. Uh, Aura Sphere is using that shield a little bit more effectively, I think. However, um, Quid has taken full advantage of some of the weaker disadvantage states that we've seen so far from Lucario. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, I think. Vivi has not done the same in response. Yep, this is really rough, right? Because you go from Squirtle, who's got this explosive, okay, if I press any button at the wrong range, I'm going to eat 50%, to Ivysaur, where, okay, I need to make the decision at the right time. So it's very small in changes, but the damage suffered is the same, in that, okay, I can just take a bunch of damage here if I choose wrong. And huge damage done by an up throw combo from Quid. Not looking really great right now for Vivi. Tries to get Rita jump. Ends up not coming out from Quid, and already at 76% is Vivi. That's probably it. That's nice. sweet spot. Yeah, and wow, a quick three stock by Quid to take it over Vivi. And once again, King of Westchester uh, moving on in this bracket, doing so well so far. In fact, Westchester in general kind of killing it in this bracket. Mm -hmm. So that was, I think, a really strong show. That changed right there from Squirtle. Obviously, this is a really great edge guard to go out over there. But we see uh, the double jump burned and taking that over from Squirtle. And Squirtle's got a fantastic job pressuring right near the ledge for Ooh. recovery. And I then... Um, it's very easy. Oh, you know, I've got Lucario's up B. I can fade away yeah. a little bit. Squirtle's not going to chase me. Change and over was, to Ivysaur. And this was up. so excellent here. Mm -hmm. Recogni so most, I think, Ivysaur's there would have gone for a falling up air. But you see the recognition from Quid. Maybe the the spacing felt off to him where he wouldn't have been able to get that second up air after um, a dare on the platform. Mm -hmm. um, opts to go for a quick back air as the range behind it was bigger. And then true combos it. You can see Vivi's still in stun into up B. Oh, and that man. was such an excellent confirm. I think excellent recognition. I if I could just go back just a little bit there. Um, yep. Yeah, there we go. And that, so what I want to show here, I think, is mm -hmm. the recognition here by Quid. I believe where Lucario is here, mm -hmm. it's a little too far for that up air to hit. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go forward here, we see the back air, that recognition from Quid, understanding that that back air wouldn't have hit, or uh, that up air wouldn't have hit, and that confirms it from, from there straight into the up B. Mm -hmm. An excellent job by Quid. Super great recognition overall. Yep. Um, and just a dominant game in general. Yeah, and I would say the cognizance as well, being at just the right height with that down air to be on the platform and then follow up, I think was really smart as well. Very yeah. good placement. And using that Ivysaur down air, mm -hmm. strongest, uh, not strongest, but certainly one of the biggest down airs in the game.